Hey y'all, welcome to Hot Mess Crafting. I am back with two tutorials today. This uh, wreath form I actually got from Michaels last year. And I think I got it for like a dollar on clearance. And I'm not too good with wreaths, but I came up with another idea I think you guys are going to love. Now this paint is like a really light pink. And my neighbor gave it to me. And I turned it into chalk paint. And it worked really well for this project. Really well. So I'm going to paint the entire thing in this very light pink. I think you guys are going to love this. I love how it turned out. I was so proud of it. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you will subscribe and stick around and join the Hot Mess family. There we go. Look at that. All done. Now we're going to put that to the side and we're going to work on our stars. Now these stars came from Dollar Tree last year and I've been sitting on them, not re really sure what I want to do with them. But I finally figured it out. I painted those in that same light pink. I didn't want you guys to have to watch all that. We're just going to use wood glue. I think on this part my dang glue was dried up. So I had to take a minute and clean it out and then come back to it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. I really would appreciate it. Alright, now, okay, now you see that they both have that circle in the middle. Now, on the second circle, I went a little to the top of it. I didn't want it directly on that other circle. Does that make sense? I hope it does. To give it a Christmas star look, I kind of went up higher a little bit. Use my wood glue, and then we're, there we go. Look how pretty that is. It's already pretty, and it's not even done yet. Uh, this is my take on a Christmas star. Now, I'm going to take my silver Sharpie, and I am going to outline all those little doohickeys, those little pieces. Now, I will say, I should have outlined them both before I glued them together. I didn't think about it. It was the last minute idea to do the outlining because I really wanted to make the star pop more so I if you do try this I would definitely suggest that it makes the life a lot easier I promise I'm not gonna make you watch this whole dang thing I'm just showing you what I'm doing just outlining I hope you guys are having a great day today. And look, voila, here we go. I don't think you can really see it too good in the video. It's kind of hard to get that lighting right. Now, this stuff I love. I got it from Walmart. It's a fabric paint, but it's glitter, just glitter. It's not white, it's just glitter. Gives your projects a nice little shimmer. It's kind of, it won't be too easy to see on the video, but it's really pretty in person. I highly suggest it. I think it was, um, four or five dollars. I can't remember, but I've had it for a while and it's lasting me. You really don't need a whole lot to get that shimmer. And, and if you don't like glitter, this is good for you because it, you know, it won't come off and be all over the place. I love glitter. My husband, not so much. I don't know if you're going to see it. You can see in the middle a little bit, the little shimmer to it. My husband calls glitter devil's dust. But this is another way to get that shimmer without all that glitter. I'm going to use my reticket like I did in my last video. I love this stuff. Gives a nice shine and it actually helps bring out that glitter some, that shimmer. Definitely in person. 
I wish you could see it like the way I see it. It looks so much better, but that's okay. Please also, if you don't mind, maybe share out this video with your friends. Maybe they might enjoy watching it. Get them some ideas, some inspiration. Obviously, you can do this piece in any color you wish. This is my take on a Christmas star decor piece. It's going to be like a moon and star. You'll see. Now I got me some pretty gems and I'm going to put them all on them holes, the circles, to really make this piece pop. And y'all, I am so proud. I did all this editing in this video by myself. Every bit of it. I wanted to try. I need to learn. So I told my husband, let me try it out. And I think I did pretty good. Definitely not award winning editing skills, but it's good. Good enough for me. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go around all them little circles. And this is honestly a, a really easy craft. It's just one part of it take is a little bit time consuming. But I feel like it's worth it in the end. And there we go. Look how pretty that looks. This is going to be more of a neutral tones. Like I said, you can... If you try this, you can do it whatever colors you want. All right, I will get back in cam the camera view. Sorry, I was out right here, but I do scooch over. What I'm doing is taking some white yarn and all those little squares, I'm weaving in and out, in and out, in and out. And I'm gonna get a whole piece and then it's gonna look like the moon. Hold on, give me just, there we go. Sorry about that. We're just going to weave it in there, in and out, in and out. Watch you a movie or whatever, listen to some music. This is the only part that's, you know, time consuming really, is doing this part. I was able actually to grab two of them last year. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the other one. My husband gave me the idea of doing like a, a love you to the moon and back. I thought that would be cute. I just got to get myself pumped up to do all this weaving again. That was a lot. <laughs> yep, 10,000 years later. That's the way it felt. And look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Now, I didn't show it in my video, but I did take that fabric glitter paint and I went over my yarn or my twine and it looked really pretty. It gives it a nice shimmer. I just didn't video that part, but I did do that. Now here's an angel I've had for God knows how long. And I painted it with silver and put a little bit of white on there to make it pop a little bit. I think she's so pretty. She's going on my Christmas star. Now, I was a ding dong on this part. My angel, okay? Because it's got like a dip in the middle, you know, like a little ditch. I don't know what you want to call it. And instead of putting something in there to make it adhere to my star better, I decided to go on all the little edges. See how, you know, it's got that little dip in there. You could really hot glue some, like a piece of, a square piece of wood or something in there. And then it would be so much easier than having to do all the edges. But, you know, I decided to make my life difficult. Either way, it still comes out okay, and it held good. So, this part takes <laughs> a little bit. Sorry. I really hope y'all love this one. I do. And I thought it would be really pretty. Maybe one day I could add some, like, fairy lights to it. I don't know. I gotta wait and see. I might do that, though. Let me know in comments, how would you have used this wreath form? 
What ideas do you guys got? Maybe I can use it for my other one. Because I'm still in debate over that one. Alright, there we go. And I'm going to put her right in the middle of my Christmas star. And I glued, well, I don't think you're about to see it, but I accidentally, like, super glued my finger to her. <laughs> I've super glued my fingers together, hey. This isn't called Hot Mess Crafting, you know, for a reason. Now I can't even talk right. Alright. There, now she's on. Look how pretty that is. And now we are going to super glue my star to my moon piece. And you'll see here in a second, <laughs> I get myself confused and like, okay, which point am I supposed to put glue on? <laughs> Doodle -doo. <laughs> Don't mind me. So you look, woo, which one? There we go. Finally figured it out. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I'm a mess. All right. Now we're just going to, I wanted to, you know, the points up and down straight. I was doing that the best I could. You don't want to use no hot glue on this. This is definitely a super glue project because otherwise it, not going to stick on that middle. It'll just pop right off. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I really love how this came out. A neutral moon and Christmas star decor piece. And I really, really love it. And boom, there's a picture of it. Now we are heading into DIY number two. <laughs> now, these little bells, I got a pack of them from Dollar Tree, okay? And I took them all apart because I want to be able to have more pieces, you know? Make your money last longer. Now, I first was going to make a Rudolph, and that was going to be his nose. But when I put this sucker down on my little circle, I was like, uh-uh. That looks more like a duck. So, wait till you see what I did. It's so cute. And I feel like this is like a super, this would be like a super cute uh, bleh, bleh, kids craft for Christmas. So I sanded it so that helps the paint stick. Now I'm adding some white acrylic paint. This is going to be my primer. Definitely when you're dealing with like shiny plastic stuff like that, definitely sand it real good. It will really help your paint stick really well. No issues. And I don't know about y'all, but when I use yellow, I have to use like 1,000 coats to get it to look right. So, doing the, the white first really helps. I'm using Maze by Waverly. This is going to be my duckie's beak. I think this came out so cute. I hope y'all like it. Like I said, I think this would be so fun, you know, for kids to do. It's something easy and something cute for Christmas. We're making us a little ducky, Christmas ducky. Now, uh, this was an awesome find, okay? This is from Dollar Tree. Last year, I got a bunch of them. They had them on clearance for 25 cents each. So, keep an eye on your Dollar Trees because they do do clearance sometimes. And you can snag some really good stuff. I'm just going to get that paper off. I'm not going to make you watch all this, I promise. And I also take that bottom piece, that little handle stake part off. And the hanger piece, that all goes. Voila, all gone. Now I'm gonna take my white acrylic paint and paint it all white. Y'all, I even got, I think it was last year, I got shoe polish, 25 cents each at Dollar Tree. And that stuff is so good for staining. I absolutely love it for staining. When it was 25 cents each, I stocked up. 
because that is a heck of a deal. So definitely keep an eye on your Dollar Trees for that. Oh, yeah, see? Hot mess right there. Just dropping my paintbrush. I got butterfingers. All right, now I'm going to take this white fabric. I'm not sure where I got it from. I've had it. And I'm going to Mod Podge on my circle. I did the white because I was like, I was afraid that something might show through. And I was like, just in case, I'm going to put the fabric on top too. You're going to glue like your life depends on it. Really load that bad boy up on glue. Just do all around your circle. And then... Put your fabric on, and I like to roll it because it really helps get that glue in the fabric and adhere it better. I love my little roller. It really helps out a lot. And then we're going to trim up all that excess after we get some Mod Podge on it. I find this way so much easier doing the glue stick and then the Mod Podge. It just seems like it makes things a lot easier. But obviously, you guys do have things how you want to do it. You know, videos on YouTube is, you know, for inspiration. Take what you want, leave the rest, and, you know. All right. So, when I Mod Podge, somehow something red got on my fabric. I was like, oh no. But, I took some white chalk paint and then painted it. Now it looks clean, white. No issues now. I'm just adding a Tumbling Tower Block and this little round piece inside my bell piece. Since it's got that big, you know, dip in it, that way it'll adhere to the circle good. duck nose oh I'm just making sure you know it's gonna stick right and now I'm gonna put it on and I got some big old googly eyes from my duck now you guys just wait and see what happens with the darn eyebrows oh my god <laughs> this dang duck nose beak kept getting in my way don't worry, I fixed the problem though. Okay, I'm going to glue my eyes on, but in the end I do end up moving them down some because of the whole eyebrow problem. <laughs> it's bad, just wait and see. Hold on guys, I need a drink. <coughs> Excuse me. There's my Google eyes. Look at that. Can y'all see the duck? Oh God, here it comes. Here comes the dirt eyebrow problem. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it'd be all cute and it just, <laughs> it was a disaster. I got one looking okay, and then the other one, the, the beat kept getting in the way. I'm like, now how am I supposed to make sure this is even? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm like, how do I work around this beak? Next time, we'll do eyebrows before the beak. Now watch what happens. Y'all just wait and see this kookiness. Yeah, watch. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> oh, I was cracking up when I was looking. I was like, this is not okay. I was like, well, maybe if I make it longer, it'll look okay. No, 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 nope, not at all. <laughs> now I'm going to add some little black dots to the beak to give, like, the, you know, the opening... I don't know what you call it, nostrils. 
Now I did, after I put those on, I did use a um, black paint to make that darker. And then I smudged it. You'll see. I'm a hot mess today for sure. Yeah, I'm looking into my eyebrows like this is not good. <laughs> okay, those bows are so gorgeous, guys. Look at that. I got those from Michaels last year, and they were on clearance for a dollar. And I was so excited. They're so pretty. I love those bows. And the glitter don't come off at all, which is nice. Because I'm like, I'm going to cover up them eyebrows. <laughs> I'm determined. Yeah, I'm just trying to trim this down because I didn't like how long it was on the face. On this part, I was definitely a hot mess just trying to figure out what in the world I was doing. <laughs> but hopefully you guys will still enjoy the video and still like the craft. See, I still was like, no, I don't like that. I mean, it probably would have been cute like that if I had went ahead and moved down the eyes but I don't know I might have to try me another ducky and see what I can do so I'm just trimming this off then I'm gonna glue I like wrap it around like it's the front of the bow and then just gonna hot glue it down I got my rubber spatula because I almost burned my patty see now I'm gonna be like ah There we go. I think this is the part where I bring those dang eyes down. They were way too far from the beak and yeah. It just didn't look right to me. Let me know if you decide to try this with your, you know, kids, grandkids, whoever. I just think it's so cute. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just... <laughs> Maybe it's just me being a kid. I don't know. See, here we go. Moving them down, and I think that looks so much better. Now we just got to make those eyebrows disappear. See? Boom. Gone. That looks so much better, right? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the eyebrow look? Or do you like it better with the bow? I mean, I think if I could have got them more even and... I don't know. Maybe it'll look better. Now I'm just going to kind of fluff my bow a little bit. Make it more cutesy. I really appreciate y'all watching and I hope you guys enjoy this. I really do. Oh, look at her. Now I'm going to, yeah, see where I smudged the nose there? I fixed it. Now I'm going to get me a jewelry piece I had on hand and that's going to go right on her bow. I have a bunch of little jewelry pieces, broken pieces, and I save them and use them in crafts as I can. I think she came out so cute. You guys have to let me know what you think of both of these in the comments. Okay, now I'm using my lip balm and I'm putting some on my finger and I'm going to dab it and give her little rosy cheeks. You can see it better in person, but I thought it was so cute. Like she's blushing or she's out in the cold too much.
Now I'm just going to flip her around and do the other side. Rosie out her cheek. I think I just rosied out her cheek for like an hour. Jeez. Aw, look at her. Ain't she cute? Now I just added a yellow ribbon for the hanger. And look how cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. I hope you'll stick around by subscribing. Thank you so much for being here.